So with the release of iOS 14 and iPad OS 14, you can now customize your home screen. So I thought I'd take a moment to have a look at how you can do that on the iPad in various different ways, including the uh, the wallpaper that you have, the arrangement of your icons, and also the widgets that you can now utilize over here on the left-hand side of the pane. Now, there's some other great videos that you can find on YouTube that will show you how to do this on the phone, um, but I thought I'd take a look at this from kind of a teaching point of view in terms of you know, what the screen layout might do, because there is a lot of people now creating videos for their students and there might be some uses for thinking about what your screen looks like. So we're going to jump into just a few of the different things that you can do. Let's start with the widgets over here on the left hand side. So you'll see that there are lots of widgets that you can choose from, photos, etc. Um, and in order to change those things, there's a couple of ways that you can do it. At the very bottom, you'll notice it says edit. You can tap on edit and that allows you to reorganize the things on your page. You can also customize it by adding in some widgets which are based on the apps that you have on your device. So for instance, if I wanted the Flipboard widget to come onto my screen, it's gonna pop it up to the top here. And then you'll see that Flipboard is here as a widget. And if I tap and hold it, I can then move that up to, to somewhere else that I want to have on my screen. Um, so it's pretty simple, easy to be able to do it. There are other ways to add widgets as well though. If I tap on the plus along the top, I then go to additional widgets that I can have, and I can search through these, and these are, again, additional widgets based on the apps that I have on my device. And also, I've downloaded this Widget Smith um, application, which allows you to customize some of the widgets. So you'll see these ones here with the blue um, outlines. You can go into this, and then the widgets that you've chosen are in here, and you can just add these and choose them for whichever layout you want. Now, where this is nice is the fact that you can, one, change the color of certain things, and two, from a teacher point of view, I know I've got the time here twice, but I've got the time here twice for a couple of reasons, because this might just, if I'm teaching younger learners, be a little prompt to get them to understand, you know, that that's what the time looks like, that, that's what the time looks like in words. I could also have that up as an analog clock as well. So it's just little subtle things that you can add to your screen that might really help uh, a young learner. If I jump into the Widget Smith app, which is this one here, you'll see that it's it's a simple app. It's really, really nice. Um, you, there are lots of different widget apps you can choose from. So I'm not gonna go into detail. If you, if you search around, you'll be able to find these. If I tap on the add small widget, tap on the widget itself. You'll see that you can change what this looks like by just tapping into it. And there's lots of other things that you can add. So let's say that I want to have that analog clock so that I have different views for students. Choose my location. So obviously, you know, world clocks and all of that. The clock style that you want, whether it's got rounded edges. I'm gonna change that tint color to blue to match the other ones. And again, this is kind of part of your design if you want to do this as a custom page, etc. Um, and then other things, you know, background colors, border colors, etc. In fact, I think I'm going to change, I'm going to add in that border color to have that as blue. There we go. So it matches the other things. And then when you go back, oops, do that again because I canceled it out. Um, let's quickly do this again. And that border color again. And maybe just to save it, like I didn't do. At the moment, it just called it's called small um, hashtag six. I want it to be called. Uh, let's just say we'll call it analog. And then tap save. So if I now go back to my home screen here, I want to add it into this. So again, I'm going to tap and hold on the screen so it goes wiggles, or jiggles. Find that widget smith. Choose the small widget. Tap add. You'll see it adds in that, uh, that uh, default mode. But if I tap on the widget itself, there's my analog one. Tap anywhere on the screen. And you'll see it's gonna change now to the analog clock. And then I can just drag this up and put this alongside the other ones. So again, you know, it's not essential, you know, from a, from a personal point of view, I don't necessarily need three clock faces. But if I'm teaching, it might be a nice idea to give your students those different views. The next thing we're gonna look at very quickly is just the background. So I've just made a custom background here um, just to house my apps. Um, if I go through, you'll notice on the left-hand side, I've put them into uh, folders. Um, just by dragging them into on top of each other, you can create a folder. And over this side, these are the kind of regularly used ones that I know I'm gonna use. So that's what I've got them here. 
Um, I've kind of put a box around them to kind of separate them on the screen. Really, really simple approach. If I jump into Keynote, this is the background that I've created. To do it, I simply took a screenshot of the page. So if I go back to my home page, I'm gonna take a screenshot. I'm gonna jump into Keynote. I've added that image in as a screenshot. And then what I want to do is I want to create something which is going to help me lay out each one of those um, icons so that it fits nicely. So I'm gonna choose the image, go to the paintbrush, go to style, and just change the opacity. And then I'm gonna add in some shapes. In this case, I'm gonna go for the square. Actually, I'm gonna change that and go for the rounded edge because it's gonna match more with those um, other icons that I've got on the page with the widgets. And I'm just gonna kind of start to design this based on the screenshot that I've got underneath. So I know that it's gonna cover all of those icons. And again, I can play with the opacity just to make sure that it fits. I might change the edge there. And that's gonna fit perfectly there. So that's great. I'm gonna copy that and paste that one over on this side. So it's in line. And again, just shrink that down again. Just make sure that it covers all of the things underneath. And then remember to change your opacity back up. You might want to also just change the colours. So um, I quite like to have the gradient fill on this. And I'm going to have that gradient fill on both sides so that it matches. Let's have that in. And then what I've done along the bottom here is just made a box which kind of just surrounds um, my uh, uh, app, uh, app shelf across the bottom. So I'm going to add in another shape there. I'm just going to place that across the bottom. And again, just change the opacity just to make sure that I can, you know, I've covered all of those apps and it looks fairly central. I think that's good. But this time I'm not going to have a fill on it, but I am going to make sure I've got a lovely board around that. Um, and I'll change the colour of the border. And maybe we'll go for something that matches kind of with that pink style make that line a little bit bigger and again I'm just matching it up on the bottom and I'll make the opacity brighter and there we go so so that's as simple as it is I'm then just going to arrange that so that that picture comes back to the front and then I'm going to delete the picture leaving me with my wallpaper and then all I need to do is play that so I know it's definitely the size of the screen that I want I'm going to take a screenshot now the other way you can do this is just export it as an image so you could also go back, if I just go to three dots, export as images, I can export it as an image as well. So either way, a screenshot, I know it fits exactly the screen. Um, images is gonna work as well. So do that, save those images. Then the next thing, obviously you, you, you'll know how to do changing wallpapers, but I'll quickly go through the process. I'm just gonna go to my wallpaper. I'm gonna choose um, a new wallpaper, go to my albums. I'm gonna find that image that I just created which is this one here. And you'll see that it lines up perfectly well for me because I've designed it. So I'm gonna set this, but I'm gonna set this only as my home screen, not as my lock screen. And then when we go back, you'll see that everything fits in there nicely. Now I might, there's a, a couple of edges here I might have added a, a little bit more time, made it a little bit wider, but you'll see that it kind of surrounds those parts. So again, you could have a picture this side and a flat color this side, whatever you want to do. So really, really nice way to just personalize the page personalize those widgets that you have on that page and as you flick through obviously you can see that it sits in behind and I've got a nice border around and again uh, sort of see the edges here I might want to just make that a little bit wider so there we go how to personalize your iPad home screen in iPad OS 14 please have a go and I'd love to see some examples that people have shared um, so share them on Twitter it's always great to compare people's home screens um, and leave some comments in the comments below if this has been of use to you